Wednesday crowd inside the Big Dome. Nahanap na ni Direk Rafi Romano ang ating mga ulala, mahal ng masa, fans of the day. Wala sa masarap, malaman, mura at kind convenient kasi easy to open. Ulala, ready to eat ulam para sa masa, mahal ng masa, ulala, 15 pesos lang. June Marfahardo, kita mo naman yung agility niya, no? Ito yung binabanggit mong play, Jason. 610, 260, going straight at you. How do you react? Kita mo naman. <laughs> napa, ano, napa, napa, inang yung napapailag ng konti yung uh, nasa harap. Talaga ba mapailag? Ito may agent, 610, 260. Ikaw, ano yung ano mo? Ito yung sasaluin nila yung... Ikaw, ilan yung, ilan at anong timbang mo? 145. 145. So, halos dalawa mo. Oo. Oh, okay. ano? 610, mahigit 1 foot 1 inch ang tangkad sa akin. Oh. 145 ka? 140 minsan. <laughs> Depende. <laughs> ikaw, ikaw, ano timbang mo? Ako, ngayon? 180... 12. <laughs> good, good day to, good day. Ha? Oy! Oy! Kita mo naman, no? Jamel Hornley. Andrito is still supporting ang bayan ng ROS. Of course, uh, he's uh, doing rehab here. Yes. Sa injury na sustain niya and the finals. Si, pag nakita mo si Coach, eh, parang hindi na nalo ng championship ng uh, huling conference. <laughs> eh, no? Ay, blood pa rin. Eh, no? Pero, yun naman ang ano, ilang uh, beses champion coach na si Coach. Eh. Alam na niya paano iiwan na sa nakaraan niya. And then, uh, start a new journey. And oh, he also Boy. knows, you know, what, what happened to him in the third conference. Remember, ang ganda ng simula nila nung third conference and yun yung ginamit nila para makakatapot sila into the finals. And he knows that these games, these games as early as October are the games that are going to be important come January and February when we're in the playoffs. Namumuhunan ka talaga eh, no? Here at the elimination round as Belga lines up a three. That's his third. At naging lima na naman ang abante na Rainer Shine. All nine of Belga's points from that three-point line. Lana lima minuto natin tira sa ating quarter number three. Yo, babawe! Ayaw pa rin para kay Joseph. Jervie Cruz. <laughs> ano na yun, no? alam niyang may contact na dadating. Inilabas ka agad niya yung kanyang braso. Yo will push it the other way. Joseph to Jaywash. Naipit. Re-reset ang Petron dito. Iba yung may 16 na you brace yourself for contact. Ano? Okay. Mag-aalala ka talaga. 16 to 60. Oh, hindi 16 na payat eh. No? As uh, Kabagnot will miss. Jaire. They push it over to Norwood. Norwood nowhere to go. Gets it back out to Jeff. Takes it strong to the hole. Will have to earn his points from the line. Washington whistled for his first personal. Jeff Chan already with 14 points can add to his total. After that first free throw, as we remind everybody, na mapapanood na din ang PBA sa pinakabagong channel sa Bay TV. Yan po ang Hyper. Please check with your local cable operators for availability. At yung dami na nagtatanong sa Twitter, mm -hmm. Sir, may replay ba? Sir, may replay ganito, ganito. Sa Hyper po, merong replay yeah. after every game day. Uh, tawagan nyo na po yung local cable provider nyo. Tanong nyo kung kailan kayo magkakahype. Wala na pong apat na minuto na titira. Dito sa ating ikatlong yugto, Malyari is back on the floor para dito sa Petron. Malyari looking to slash through. Peña kasabay niya ng pasok. Five to shoot para dito sa Blaze Boosters. Kabagno drops it off to Peña, bothered by Jaire. Pinokol pa punta kay Jervy. Cruz mo! Oh, you know about it, Jaywash! Return to sender, sabi ni Washington. Isang depensang sapal yan, hatid sa inyo, ng sapal elastic sealant and waterproofer, ang bagong hari ng tapal. Magpapasabit pa sana si Jervy, you know? Inilayo na niya, ginagamit yung baligat at katawan, ay ang haba ng galabay ng Jaywash. Hey, we waited and uh, tried to really grab an angle para hindi siya masupalpal. Eh, hindi niya alam, wala, masy wala palang angulo pa matagawad sa, matatagawad sa sitwasyon na yun. As Ronnie Matias gets a catch and shoot to go, time out muna ni request dito ni Coach Rasela dahil ito na ang pinakamalaking abante sa larong ito. Siyam na puntos para sa bayan ng Rainer Shine.
Maalala ulit natin na nakuling magkaharap ang mga kupunan sa Barclays Premier League. Tapat ang Chelsea versus Norwich City. Mapapanood na sa October 7, alas 2 ng hapon. Sisi pa na yan. Dito sa Active. And also, part of this nice Wednesday crowd we have are Zanjo Marudo and Jason Abalos enjoying the intense action. At syempre, speaking of intense, Tita Dex is in the house. Mia Kalim. Sino kaya sinisuporta niya? Tita Dex, ha? Narinig ka tinatawag mo sa Tita Dex, baka makaramdam ka ng tunay na Tita Dex niya, na. <laughs> Malamang. <laughs> Masabulutan ako na ito, mamaya. Buti na lang. Semical po tayo. Chris Lutz. Missing link. Missing link so far para sa Petron. Chris Lutz. Marshall Laster still unavailable. Chris Lutz. A guy that was actually one of the players na talaga sinasandala ng Petron so far in today's game. Ito si Chris Lutz. At yan ang uh, point. Bilanggit mo na, no? Marshall Lasseter, napakatagal nang inaabangan ng mga taga-Petroni version as Sherving Cruz gets his stick back. Mula nung na-trade sa Petron, hindi pa man lang nakakamagsutak. Ito si Lasseter. And you can just imagine when he's gonna be available, when he becomes available. Doon mo makikita talaga ang lalim ng bench nitong uh, Petron. Ronnie Matias and Dorian Peña exchanging some words here. O si Washington ba kausap na ito ni Matias? As uh, Coach Olsen Rasella is asking for some clarification from our officials. Miranda, nagbalik para kay Kabagnot. Chris Lutz uh, gets that first free throw. Just might be what he needs. Some shots from that 15-foot line. Yeah, something to get himself going. Two for two para kay Lutz. Mabasa siya, mga bante na rain or shine. Pressure in the backcourt. Miranda will bother D.Y. Tang. And si Belga will offer that moving pick. Tang against Miranda. Binigyan ng pick si Belga. D.Y. Pabiting Dira. No good. Matias with a putback. Pinura si Peña. Every guy, every guy is uh, trying to ask the refs for some help. Right now, you just gotta attack. And that's exactly what Chris Nuts did. Just, just attack. Wag ba kang titigil hanggang maririnig mo yung pito. Jeremy Cruz gave up a hard foul. Ayaw sana mamigay ng three-point play opportunity. Pero si Chris Lutz very determined to get that layup. And the points of Chris Lutz right now, how is he getting it? Nauna siya doon sa depensa. He's trying to beat them by running ahead of them. And twice he's uh, gotten points. One from the free throw line and one from three-point play. Dang with the leather, 71-63. Petron down by eight, coming up on the two-minute warning ng ating ikatlong yugto. Matias and Lutz battling for position. Matias receives the leather. Matias spins baseline, gets away from Lutz. Inabot pa ni Washington. Looks like Ronnie Matias is getting under the skin. But everybody wearing blue right now. Ngayon pa lang pumasok sa penalty ang Petron. Next defensive or loose ball foul. Free throw shooting time tayo. As Jervy Cruz is caught with an illegal pick. Coach Yang could not believe it. Jervy Cruz looking over at his coach. to be upset. We've seen worse uh, illegal picks. I, every time I hear an illegal screen, especially off the ball, as you look at this play right here. Now he was moving. Definitely he was moving. Take that back. Miranda, tumama sa kanyang tuhod yung bola. Nung siya'y matagaan. At mapupunta na naman sa bayan ng Rosa Bola. Under two minutes na titira sa ating third quarter. It is still rain or shine by eight. Aranya on the move. Inilayo pa kay Peña. Ito yung mahirap dito sa rain or shine. You look at this team. And the points just come from everywhere. Dito sa punto ito para sa Rainer Shine as we see that uh, foul over there. Maliari ran into his own man. Pero naitulak naman daw siya patunta kay Peña. Going back to my point, 11 players of Pinato, si Coach Yang. All 11 have contributed and scored. Jeff Chan leading the way with 16. Belga with 9. As well as Jaira Ibanez. Pero the rest of the order, ano, at least... Two points ang nakontribute nila. At yun naman ang sinasabing isang susi. Doon sa kanilang Governor's Cup Conquest, Jason, na 
nung mawala itong si The Lethal Weapon, the number two overall pick last year na si Polly, eh okay lang dahil sanay naman daw itong Rainer Shine na kahit sino kailangan magtrabaho basta binigyan ka minuto. This is not, well, what they were saying is this, this was not or is not Paul Lee's team. This is Rainer Shine's team. It's Coach Yang's team. <laughs> Pero yun nga, no? everybody, basta binigyan mo ng pagkakataon, kayang-kaya, magkakaroon ng pag, uh, lakas na loob as we send it over to Erka with this report on the lethal weapon. Obviously, hindi natin nakikita si Polly on the court because he's still injured. Nilagyan na ng apat na screws ang kanyang kaliwang balikat para mapirmi na talaga at hindi na matanggal. He had his operation right after their championship. At next week, magsastart na siya mag-practice. He's expected to be back on the court end of this year or early January. Balik sa inyo. Thank you, Erka. Yun, inahabol na yung December para dito kay Polly. Nakasama natin to right after his operation, maybe a week after. At uh, yun yung binabanggit niya, no? Yung yung sa sakit nung baligat niya, lumawag na ng tuluyan after repeatedly getting hit since his college days, since his PBL days and D-League days. At yun yan, tinamahan siya against Barako nung nakarang uh, konferensya. Medyo natagalan ng sideline. Tapos pagdating ng finals, natuluyan na. Uh, the nice thing is, you know, he's had this opportunity right now para mag-heal. Went to the process, nagpa-opera siya. But, uh, you know, youth sometimes uh, can be, can work against you as what a play <laughs> Ryan Aranya. Ronnie Matias yes. turning garbage into gold. Yung mga, mga mamaliliit ng Rain or Shine, kumukuha sila ngayon ng rebound. Kanina sabi natin, hirap na hirap ang Rain or Shine when it comes to rebound. But at least here in the third quarter, they are actually competing. At may offensive foul pang nasilip dito sa kabilang dulo. Is Petron coming undone right now, Jason? I can't really say that they're coming undone. Uh, uh, Dorian Vera just trying to uh, have a, a solid screen. But the call was called on one end, illegal screen. When you move a little, yun din ang tinawag dito kay Dorian Pena. But you know, this team, this, this uh, Petron team, you know, they, they've got a good mix of veterans and rookies. You'd expect them to, you know, to be able to weather something like this. Nice drop, Kinyahan, papunta kay Jerby. And this is the brand new biggest lead of the game. Dosi pundos para sa Raider Shine. Half a minute remaining in the third. Can Petron recover? And this is the point in which you say you've got to trust the system if you're Petron. They look to salvage uh, some baskets here. Jaywash for a three. Punches that one through. <laughs> Pabasa siya, mga bante. Ng Rainer Shine, Petron will look for the stop. Rainer Shine, nagahanap ng pandiin. Tang. Carving some space. Pasa niya, turnover. Washington gets it to Miranda. Di naaabot yung Hail Mary niya. So at the end of the first 36 minutes of action, etong Rainer Shine, nakapagtayo na 10 puntos na kalabangan. 78. 68. Do join us for the fourth and final quarter sa aming pagpabalik. Sabi mo kanina, masyado seryoso si Coaching. May euphoria pa ng championship. May euphoria pa yan, yung ganyan ito. Eh, para seryoso, seryoso na eh. But you know, what he was saying kanina, yun, nakaka-addict yung manalo, mag-champion. You know, in sports, there's only one thing. Either you win or you lose. And, uh, you know, you'd always rather be on in the winning end because mas masarap yung feeling na yun eh. Parto, tinamaan dun sa rebound play na yun. So here in the second half, Rainer Shine is out-rebounding Petron 15-11 after na itong Petron loaded it over in the first half, 33-19, and that has given them the lead, like you were saying. Yes, one thing is the rebounding, the other is the field goal shooting. Rainer Shine shot 57, just what you saw on your screen. Tapos, ang Petron, only 28%. This is the last play, ano? Uh, yun yung uh, contention ng Rainer Shark inabot daw ng katakot-takot na tama ito si Watch D.Y. Junmar <laughs> si Junmar mukhang bumawi kay uh, kay Ryan dun oh Junmar Pardo taking down Jeremy Cruz and Ryan Aranya as well at yun yan binabanggit yeah. mo no? yes watch it I, I didn't say Junmar bumawi kay Ryan Ryan also not uh, taking offense dun sa bawi ni Junmar and Ryan Aranya checking kung kompleto pa ang kanyang even dito. You have to rewind this play from the from the play dun sa ilalim, dun sa dumaan sila sa sa screen. Ito si Ryan Aranya. It all started from there. 
And then, yun, nag-ab- nag-abangan na yung dalawa as uh, si oh, Junmar know. actually hurt. Looks like he's got a boxer scut right above that left eyebrow. Pagbagsak niya, nahaplot niya kasama si Jerby Cruz. And then for si Ryan Aranya, bigla na lang nandun dun din sa ibabaw nila. I will see that. We'll see how that happened. But but it also started from the play before. Okay. Uh, Tumalun si Ryan Aranya and tried to contest that rebound and actually got it was si Junmar. So Dempers uh, reaching fever pitch here. As, bo- as both camps uh, look to pacify their troops Habang yung mga really referees are reviewing huh? the action May kahabaan din yung uh, tama ni Junmar huh? Tanache No, this is not the play This is the traveling uh, That's not the earlier Yan yung ane, hanggang sa pagbalik to sa kabila That's not the play well, that's the, Yan uh, yung traveling eh okay, This is the play right here Starts off bottom Nagkaipitan sila dyan Junmar knows that uh, Ryan Aranya knows Na nandun rin sila Ayun! Dalawa yung hawak ni Junmar Actually, Fajardo Actually pulled down Ito si Ryan Both of them You see Jervy Cruz on the left arm Ryan Aranya on the right Yeah Look at Take a look at this Again This started it Ito na yung play Actually, Jun Mari pulling down, no? Yung rookie natin, matapang, ha? But also at the end, the reason why there, uh, there is a deliberate foul call, may konting sipa para dito kay Ryan Aranya, no? Uli. And the Petroniverse uh, fans in attendance, the members of Petroniverse in attendance, letting Ryan Aranya hear how they feel. Yung previous play Before the takedown Doon nagkatamaan Itong si Aranya at si Fajardo At yun nga Binabanggit Actually, mo nga Actually 4 seconds 4 seconds before that Because there was a uh, There was a rebound play before that 4 seconds before that nagka, Nagkakiskisa na yung dalawa ba- Bago lumabas si Fajardo for the pick Bago lumabas si Fajardo for the pick <laughs> Naggangnam style pa Ito si Ryan Aranya 10 point lead at this uh Juncture of the game. On number 20, Jersey Cruz. Technical foul on Ray Laradia for second motion. That's it. Yeah. A foul on Jeremy Cruz and a technical foul on Ryan Aranya as Junior Fardo continues to get worked on on that Petron bench. Well, Ryan saying, Oh, he need life. Which is true. Pero problema, hinila rin ni Jervy si Fajardo. Now, Fajardo's got to come in and shoot these free throws. At least the two free throws and then go to the bench. Kung hindi, hindi siya nakabalik sa larong ito. That's if it's a shooting foul. No? Ito yung sa technical. Kaya Aranya, Washington delivers on that technical free throw. At hindi naman niya shooting foul. So, okay lang na Gamutin muna nila yung uh, sugat neto ni Junmar Fajardo doon and he can return to this game. Alam mo, itong Petro naghahanap lang ng pagkakataon. You know, to get, to fire them up. This might be the opportunity. That lull right there but, uh, might be that opportunity but that negates it right there. You want to be able to score after an emotional play pero an offensive foul called on Danny I. If PBA is going to be really strict on that uh, screens and moving screens, it's going to be very good for the league because one of the things that the coaches really complained about last year was how many moving screens there were. DY Tang, floater doesn't work. Larry Rodriguez, bagong paso para kay Jerby Cruz with the rebound. And he is in trouble, forced into a timeout because of the hustle of Deno Miranda. 30 second variety. Ang request dito ni la coach Yang. As we send it over to 
to, to Erica with this report. Kanina yung nakita natin sa huling bungguan na sugatan ang kaliwang kilay ni June Mar Fajardo. Kanina nung kausap ko niya, sabi niya, ang papangako niya sa larong ito, magiging relax lang siya at kalmado. Pero hindi natin yan nakita. Marahil dahil siya ay napipressure na sa mga ibinibigay ng mga players ng Rainer Shai. Kaya naman, nakipaglaban lang din siya. Balik sa inyo. If you're 22 years old and you've taken this much contact in 36-37 minutes of action, Pero mo nga, tipping point eh, no? Uh, wawala ka rin sa focus niya. You know, and, and you're not used. You're not used to guys that, act, that can actually match up with you strength-wise. At talaga, Laman ka pa rin, ha? Laman pa rin si Junmar, ha? Pero iba pa rin ang, yung tinatawag din, lakas na mga naglalaro na sa PBA. Na hindi magbaback down. Makikipagsabay at makikipagsabay ang palita na mukha kung kinakailangan. Foul away from play. The referee's... Uh, Tightening up here. Para nga naman makontrol na kaysa magkaulit pa. Yung mag nagkainitan ng ulo kanina-kanina. Rodriguez, out to Pinyahan. Takes a three. 19 footer. It's good! Iba na. Iba na itong Rainer Shine team. You can see that there's, there's championship poise within this team after winning that plum in the third conference. You can see that ito humahabol ang kalaban pero maganda pa rin pinapakita ng laban. Nice play right there mula kay Benok. Now, er almost every call now being contested by the players on the floor. As JR Kenyan moments ago became the third guy in double figures in scoring para sa Rainer Shine. Take a look at that again, Jason. Elbow. May iniwan si JR dito kay Denok. Was a high elbow to finish that play. Pero hindi na, di, 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 ang foul ba ang tinawag? Uh, they, re they reviewed it. Pakinggan natin. Foul on the level 11 to 110. Flagrant foul, penalty 1. Arjuna Kiyan. So again, another yeah. opportunity <laughs> para sa Petron. Ano mo kakasabi ko lang na nakita natin championship poise on the part of Rainer Shine, but that's not what they have shown. In, that's not what they showed in that last play. Ang daming puntos ha, na makukuha ng uh, Petron dito sa pagkakataon na to. This is the foul. There was a foul on T.Y. Tang, tapos meron pang flagrant foul. Alam mo, buti na lang ang bisita natin sa Active Center, si Coach Frankie Lee. Baka pwede tayo mag-request, mag-live slow mo siya mamaya. Sampulan ng sampulan si Mr. Halili. <laughs> Miranda with the leather. Petron still down by 8 points. Let's see if they can capitalize this time around. Miranda to Santos, elbow jumper, is fouled by T.Y. Tang. Now, now, right now, Rainer Shine, just too many fouls going their direction. So many free points ang binibigay ng Rainer Shine dito. Look at this, 14 fouls para sa Rainer Shai. Not even two minutes gone by sa ating fourth quarter. Eighty seventy four. lamang ng Rainer Shai binabana sa anim na puntos. T.Y. Tang timing that one perfectly slapped out of bounds by Arwin. Good job on the part of T.Y. Tang. Doesn't matter if you're a guard, importante. Eh, lumalaban ka at humahabol ka doon sa loob. Matias running into Denok. Wala, para kay Rodriguez mula doon sa kanto. Tatakbo na naman. Ito si Miranda. Miranda cross court to Yo. Touches it to Santos. Short stab. Fit in. Arwin with his own board. Wala on the follow. Belga finally clears it for Raider Shine. And a blocking foul is whistled on Denok Miranda. 
Tough play underneath by uh, Coach Olsen and his team. Good side Alem asking for a foul. Lutz comes back into the game, replacing Joseph. Yo, Chris Lutz finally nakapag-ambag na in that third quarter. Ayan, tagal na panahon na yun dahil sa dami ng stoppage kahit na wala pang dalawat kalahati lumiliba sa ating final frame. Yes, easy call, easy call. Oh! Larry Rodriguez called for the foul and a technical. And Larry actually rode Alex Kabagnot down. That's why he got called for the technical. And again, three points, three possessions na binibigay ng Rainer side para dito sa Petron. Hindi ba ito sa pagturo ni Rodriguez yung technical? Yun, profane Ayun, language. profane language, ano? Take another look at that last sequence. And right as the whistle went off, oh, technical, Sirari Rodriguez. Yan ang bawal. 80-75, Petron via that free throw line, slowly creeping in here, Jason. At saka hindi gumagalaw oras. Kita natin, ang dami ng fouls. Para dito sa Rainer sign, ang daming possession na binigay nila. Apat na team foul na para sa Ross, exactly two and a half palang alumilipa sa ating final quarter Il Diponso to Miranda pull up jumper in front of Dang Danok delivers 11 points already para dito kay Miranda second quarter na pumasok yan sa ating laro Rodriguez can he make up for that technical hands off to Aranya Dang na libre top of the key three no Arwin above everybody for the rebound Kabagdot pushes it to Lakai. Il Defonso carves some space. That's a blocking foul on Aranya. Coach Yeng Yeng, napangiti na lang sa last sequence na yun. Yeah, Petron, it all started kanina. Chris Lutz was doing a good job of running and getting points because of transition. Now another thing, ginawa rin ni Danny Ay, ang bilis na bumaba. Nagkaroon siya ng pagkakataon ng punto sa transition din. Gabe Norwood coming in para dito kay Tang. So Coach Yang going for size here. Piska lang, pareho. Norwood contra Miranda. Kasama ni Norwood sina Aranya, Rodriguez, Belga, and Matias. 8 to nothing run by Petron. Ipilitin pasagin ngayon ng Rainer Shine. Rodriguez off the glass. May kasama pang foul. Gotta remain aggressive. Para kay Larry Rodriguez got a bad, got a call earlier. He felt that it did not go his way, but then remained aggressive. Now, question of puesto sa ilalim. You get that far underneath. Most of the time, you get the advantage. And now, June Mar Fajardo is redeployed by Coach Olsen Rasela. Pinalita na muna si Lakay Danny Ay. Aranya pa, Fajardo, nagtabi sa rebound play. Aranya almost had it. Pero then, off secures the leather. Miranda kasama si Santos, Kabagnot, Lutz, and Fajardo. Miranda on the move. Puta tayo inabot from behind kay Rodriguez. Norwood picks it up, pushes the action, lobs it to Matias, back to Norwood. Kabagnot is right there to break it up. Jaire Ibanez nagbabalik para dito kay Ryan Aranya Matias catches, gets it to Jaire Rodriguez with a big pick, Jaire against Pajardo, puts it up No good, Matias with a putback Well, si Matias kumasok lang sa second half Pero yung binibigay niyang contribution Yung energy, yung rebounds, yung toughness Everything there para dito kay Ronnie Matias. 8 puntos na para kay Matias at binigyan niya ulit ng 7 puntos na kalabangan ang Rainer Shine. Miranda on the move to Fajardo on the roll. Too strong on the layup. Norwood surveys the floor. Norwood pushes it. It's fouled by Kabagnot. Ikatlo yan para dito kay Alex. Ang Petron. We begin at the end and time out with 7:42 remaining in this game.
sa puntong ito, silipin muna natin ang ating Preston Defensive Stop of the Game. At ito ang ating ipipicture dito. Miranda aatake pero from behind, Larry Rodriguez right there. Brought to you by Preston Brake Fluid for superior braking action and safety. Siguradong nasa mabuti kang kamay. So it wasn't a shot attempt pala para kay Denok. He wanted to drop it off also. Mabunta kay Fajardo. Pero Rainer Shine's defense swallowing them up. Mag-ul, dapat natin tingnan dito. Paano mag-dire-react si Junmar Fajardo? You know, first, um, uh, Uh, sense or paunang pakiramdam niya na natamaan siya dito sa PBA na may marka. Will he remain aggressive after that? Yun ang tinatawag na napinyagang ka na eh. No? Meron na nga na eh. First blood. Naka-first blood ka na sa PBA right in your first game. As Jaire Ibanez continues to shine para dito sa Elasto Painters. Ot si Puntos na para sa kanya. Balik siya siya mga bante ng ROS. Lots of the spin doesn't work. Rodriguez with a rebound. And he protects that leather. Daming sumusundot. Lots at Santos. Oh, yeah, again, that team effort on the point of Rainer's side. Kanina, sinabanggit na natin. Uh, magandang nilalaro ng ibang mga players ng Rainer's side. We, we mentioned kanina how Ronnie Matias was so valuable. Yan si Larry Rodriguez. Another guy that's been helping out big time. At nakuha pa niya panlimang foul ni Chris Lutz. Panlimang team foul na rin yan para sa Petron. Next defensive or loose ball foul. Penalty shooting or free throw shooting time. Turnover by Petron, Rodriguez and Belga. Ball fake to Rodriguez. Nilagay na lang sa ring yan. Fast break opportunity when you don't consummate in one end. You know you're in big trouble on the other. Yo, barrels into the defense of Rainer Shine. Chayre Ibanez looking for the charge. But a blocking foul is whistled on him. Two free throws para tayong para sa The Ninja. Nagbibigay sa atin ng pagkakataon. Balik, balikan si Miss Erga. Hindi na papayang Rainer Shine na maabantihan na naman ng Petron. Kaya ang instruction talaga ni Coach Sheng, mag-rebound kayo. Yun lang ang importante. Idinagdag pa ni Bo. Guys, kayo na ang bahala sa rebound. Ako nang bahalang bumax out kay Fajardo. Balik sa inyo. Yun ang importante. May isang magsasakripisyo lang ng kanyang stats. Box out, box out. Siya na makikipagkatawanan. <laughs> Sabi mo, ikaw magma-box out. Ano ka ba? <laughs> Yun nga eh. Right on cue. Nakalimutan. Nag-apologize naman. Uh, sinubukan ko lang ni uh, Bo eh. Dahil sinubukan niya ipitin yung kamay nito si Junmar Fajardo. Did not work that time. Ari ba't kalating minuto natitira dito sa ating bakbakan? Belga underneath. Oh, tatay na kay Fajardo. Here comes Petron. Sobrang nga lang yung pasa ni Kabagno. So these turnovers para sa Petron. Ito mag it will come back to haunt them. Nalala niya kanina, fast break na wala. Ito na naman isang pagkakato. Look at the hands of Bo. Trying to grab Junmar. Alam mo, nakawala eh. Libre na. Nadulas. <laughs> Alagyan ng grasa. Rodriguez. Uy, airball from the perimeter. Pagkakataon ng Petron makalapit dito. Kabagnot. Aatake. Jump si Rat. Papalik kay Lutz. Chris Lutz playing on borrowed time now. Here's Santos. Held down by Belga. That's a regular foul. Uy, now they're gonna review it. Dahil merong pulling action, eh, no? So, kinyahan uh, 11 minutes plus nung natawagan ng F1. He could be available to be back. Kung sakaling F1 or F2 to kay Belga. Sinigurado ni Belga walang 3-point play opportunity dahil kahit pagka-foul niya, forward motion ni Santos, nando doon pa rin. Wow, so that means that Bo Belga won't be available anymore. Sa 58 second mark, pwede. Dahil pangalawang playground foul on Raroes, yung una kay Ginyahan, 3 minutes yun. Yung pangalawa, kay Belga na ipito, 5 minutes yan. So kung 58 seconds kung gusto yun ni Coach Cheng, pwede pa siya ibalik siya. Pwede pa siya ibalik siya. Arwin misses on the first. So Petron getting or wasting all kinds of free throws here. All fourth quarter long sa dami ng tawag that went against Rainer Shine. Iilan lang na ipasok dito ng Petron. 
just got confirmation. The reason why that was a flagrant one is just because he did not go for the ball at all. He knows down yet. Now to see Arwin Santos as Kabagnot misses. Junmar underneath against Kinyan. No basket. Sa pagkakataon yun dahil doon sa ribang play ng foul. Pero panlima na rin yan para kay J.R. Kinyahan. And remember, Mo Belga will be, you know, for all intents and purposes, will, will not be available. So Kinyahan's got to watch it. Rainer Shine wants to keep a big or one of, those, one of their extra rice ink on the rookie, Junmar Fajardo. Bintis yung pangalawa para dito kay Junmar. Junmar Fajardo so far has a total of 9 points. Oh! oh cheap fouls para dito sa Rainer side. And when, when you look at the number of fouls that have been called here in the fourth quarter and you compare it, that's, that's just been the biggest uh, problem para dito sa Rainer Shine. Six fouls? Ten fouls. Para Ten fouls. Ten fouls. Ten fouls. Para kay Jeremy Cruz. Apat in total. So the front line of Rainer Shine now in trouble. Lutz gets it with Fajardo. Both are tied up with Ken Orwood. Oh, Kabagnot keeping an eye on that ball. Here's Lutz. Couldn't get the three. Fajardo once again. Ayo pa rin. Norwood finally clears it. Pushes it hard. Three on two. Gabe all the way. Gabe. It's just a different Gabe Norwood. And, and people are just going to enjoy this Gabe Norwood 2.0. Iba yung ano na to eh. Kumbaga, yung IOS nito, iba na. And the rest of the other nine teams will just have to contend with it. Kabagnot puts it up. No. Jeremy taps it over to Chan. Three on two. Gawin mong four on two. Jeff is fouled and if that's on Lutz that'll be good night on Chris Joseph Yo ang pinituan dito ikap ng foul yan para kay Joseph Yo and with 4.40 remaining in this game mandatory timeout is charged to rain or shine they try and hang on to this 8 point lead markado na ako so kailangan ko mag extra work na improve pa rin yung skills ko conditioning para syempre babanggayin ka para makafocus pa rin ako sa game It's one thing to be most improved player, to get better. But you know, once you already have uh, reached that uh, level, like a national team player, na, napansin ka na, iba na rin ang gagawin defense sa So you actually have to adjust and make yourself better than what the defense, the new defenses, will be given to you. So, ibig mo sabihin si Jeff Chan ngayon sa mundo ng PBA, eh, you already na. He's, he's legit. Two for two, para dito kay Jeff. Key free throws, palik sa sampu ang abante na Rainer Shine. Just over four and a half remaining in this contest. What will Petron do? Kabagdot contra Norwood. Maybe gonna pick the Fardo. Kabagdot, Kinyan switching off on him. They get it down low. Tatlo ko mo yung gawin mong apat dito kay Fajardo. That ball goes out of bounds. Last touch on one of the white shirts. He may have missed that, but you get to see Junmar Fajardo. Skills. In basketball sense, pang PBA na. Ano yung footwork kilo? Usually pag big man na na ipit na karon, malamang sa malamang nata traveling. Eto, he is in control. He is in balance. Lots from the outside. Ayo pa rin. Jervy clears it for Rainer Shine. Interesting. Rainer Shine actually zoned them up. Eto ng Petron dun sa pagkakataon na yon. Chan against Kabagnot. They get it to Jervy. Makes Junmar pay. One of the things that Junmar will learn in the PBA is how far do I have to be so I'll still be able to contest the shot. Here in game number one, sa kanyang PBA career, you can see ang dami pa nakakatira sa kanya sa labas. Jervy Cruz, 13 puntos na ang ambag niya dito. Joseph Yo, after that second quarter outburst, naubusa na ng three-pointers dito. Is this his last five attempts? If we're not mistaken, as Jaire! Pin protection and yung bola contra kay Fajardo. The veterans going to work on the rookie. And again, team effort. Para dito sa rain or shine. 
Derby Cruz kanina mula sa labas now Jair Ibanez able to drive in 14 na ang abante ng bayan ng Ross timeout para kina Coach Olsen back inside the smart Araneta Coliseum silipin muna natin ang ating schedule this coming Friday aba napakagandang mga bakbakan na naman to Jason Meralco takes on Talk and Tech sa alas 5 ng hapon Susundan na salpok ang San Mig Coffee Mixers at Alaska Aces. Yeah, must watch yung San Mig, uh, both games. Especially yung uh, San Mig Coffee Mixers against the Aces. Remember, the Aces uh, retooled. Tapos yung uh, Coffee Mixers with a new name. Jun Marfajardo still could not break into double figures. Inilabas na lang yung galit after the whistle done. He's got 9 points so far and make that 13 rebounds. After that offensive board, pero down by 14 ang kanyang kapunan dito. He's helped. He's helped a lot, itong uh, Petron team. And uh, you know, if you're gonna put a grade out, kano ka galing ba to si Jun Marfardo? Is he the real deal? It definitely is the answer. One chink in the armor we've seen so far is the free throws. 5 of 10 from the line. Take that 5 of 11. Mananatili pa ang bola sa Petron. Is that surprising that a big man is struggling from the free throw line? <laughs> Not really, pero you know, you can be a little guy or you can be a small guy. Uh, uh, but they say Jun Marfardo is supposed to be able to have a decent free throw. Pero, you know, iba pa rin talaga yung nasa, nasa sa PBA game ka. Tinutulak ka, continuously nakakapagod yun. Ubus ka, yun yung binabanggit ni Jeff Chan kanina. Extra work na siya ngayon dahil sa dami ng panggang. Ine-expect niyang tanggapin all season long. So nananatiling 14 ang abante ng Raiders Shine, the largest of this contest. Petron needs a stop. Kinyahan launches a three. Bang! Again, not enough. Too much space he's given up by Junmar. Again, he will learn how much space he can give so that he can still be effective to be able to contest the shot and still be there underneath. Norwood to John. Rainer Shine starting the celebration on that bench. Namagana sa 19 ang abante nila. It looks like they will pick up where they left off from last season. Last game, last season was a victory. Hoping to start, to start with a victory once again. And, and when you when you look at this Raider Shine team right now, like eh, enjoy sila. You know, it helps when you're when you're up in, in the game, but you can see a lot of smiles in that bench. Despite all the problems in terms of yung mga injuries at lahat, they're able to see contributions from player number one up to the last player. Take another look at that Kinyahan three that rattled home. Been a problem all day and a, been a weapon all day for the Rainer side. Your three point shot, another weapon. Their fast breaks. They had 10 three pointers dito sa laboratory and had 16 fast break points compared to only seven. Para sa Petron, that's a nine, uh, nine point difference right there. Si J. Arkinyan, three for three from deep. Hindi siya nilabasan eh, o hindi siya hinabol neto ni Junmar Fajardo. Doon sa perimeter, si Belga nakakontribute din ng dalawa. And Jervie Cruz and Matias, meron din mga perimeter jumper na naitulong dito. Yeah, in defense of Junmar, he actually comes out. But there's a difference when you actually, pag masasanay ka na in, in the PBA na, well, you have to be this close to actually make a difference when you contest the shot. And these are things that he'll learn. You know, he looks like he's a guy that that we, we will be able to learn. We heard that basketball lang ah, hindi naman siya nagsimula kaagad ng basketball. Huli na rin siya ng natuto. And we also got to remember, this kid is 22 years old, Jason. Kung last year, bilip na bilip tayo kay Pauli, who came into the league at 22 and took the league by storm. Ito, 22 anos lang din to. I think Junmar is Junmar like the third youngest and Pauli is still the youngest in the league right now. <laughs> Something like that. Uy, Jairo Ibanez, mukha nasaktan pa sa pagpukol niya ng 3-pointer na yun. Hoppling back on defense now. Hopefully nothing serious if you're part of Bayan ng Rain or Shine. Kabagnot in the lane. Getting some garbage points here. Kocheng, gustong manigurado. At tawag pa ng timeout dito, ang Rain or Shine up 101-84.
Back inside the Smart Araneta Coliseum Sara sa conclusion ng ating PBA Wednesday Dito lang sa Active 101-84 Rain or Shine Bigla na lang kumawala dito Tuluyan ang namaga ang kanilang kalamangan And they are on their way to victory number one May see that Petron scoring wise They just stalled Tumigil yung scoring nila Nabigat ang opportunity Sando naman yung mga oportunidad And they just couldn't finish They couldn't get the baskets And also big shots made by Rain or Shine Jonathan Uyloan now on the floor Para dito kay Coach Yang So if he doesn't score in the last minute 15 He will be the only guy who did score Lahat ng ginamit, binabanggit mo na no? Nakatulong and early on As Jeff Chan Misses horribly on that three Kung ikaw si Coach Olsen, are you just lo looking for execution here or bahala na sila kung anong gusto nilang gawin dyan? No, you still want to see your guys able to execute and play basketball the right way. Derby Cruz, kinalawit pa yung rebound sa pagkakataon na yun. And Rainer Shine is just wasting away the time here. Uy, Luan ang didiscarte. Chris Latz ang tatao sa kanya. Uy, Luan, picking up speed. Foul given up by Fajardo. Kala ko bubuhati ni Fajardo eh. Ginawa ni Shaquille O'Neal kay Johnny Abariantos nung araw. Naalala mo yun? Actually a good question. Actually a question being raised by Rainer Shine. Is that, is that flagrant as well because he did not go for the ball? Oh, no. It, it, there was no excessive force. No pero, excessive force though. Yun, ang, yun naman ang uh, argumento doon. But the thing is, he did not go for the ball at all. Bewang eh. Bewang eh. <laughs> Malayo. Pinahirap, sabi ni ano, sabi ni Uyloan, pinahirapan mo pa ako, layup na, kasama na ako sa scoring eh. Ayun, nagmintis tuloy ng dalawa, ito si Jonathan. Eh pagbalik ng bola, wala nang isang shot clock, baka paubusin na lang to na Rainer Shine. Aranya, ano yun, nalibre si Uyloan, pero sabi ni Aranya, wag na, ayos na to. Victory number one, makukuha na nila dito. Uyloan, gusto talagang makasama sa scoring dito, <laughs> is fouled by Arwin Santos. Ayaw niya ng Uyloano. <laughs> <laughs> sa pangalan niya bukas gusto niya oil ones ito eh sa gilid parang si <laughs> baka mapatukan pa to ni coaching pag di pa pumasok naku masesermo ng kapas sa ginagawa mo eh I bet you this fourth one is even harder than the first three now si Belga and the rest of the match pinagtakaman na siya yun <laughs> finally naka-score ito si oil one So it's 102-84, rain or shine will open the 2013 or their campaign here in the 2013 season in a big way. Joseph Hill with a final basket. And this should do it. Ryan Aranya will waste away the time. 102-86 is your final score. Big victory, or is this an even bigger statement victory for Raider Shine? It's a big victory. It you know, just started. The season just started. I think a lot of uh, feeling out still happening in the league. Uh, uh, Raider Shine trying to feel out well, how, how this team is going to look without their import, without Paul Lee. And on the other end, uh, as well as Petron, trying to feel out um, uh, si, uh, Coach Olsen. Paano yung lineup niya? How's the rotation going to look? throughout the season. At sa dami ng magandang ginawa para dito sa Rainer Shine, hirap na hirap si Jason Webb sa pagpili ng best player. But there can only be one. Kasama na natin yan.